Do you ever feel lost or self-conscious in social situations? Today, we gonna fix that. What up, homie? My name's Dave and I put out new videos every single Friday to help you get the girls you want and the lifestyle you dream about. So, make sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss another video. Anyway, one of the biggest things that stops guys from getting good with girls is a lack of social intelligence. You need this if you want to master your social skills. And I lack this in a big way. I was a social jamoke. For a long time, interacting with anybody felt like a huge challenge. Even going to the store and interacting with a cashier was tough. Never mind like trying to talk to a girl that I was attracted to. That felt impossible. So I know how it feels to not have the social skills that you want, but I'm also an example that it's possible to build these social skills from scratch and you don't have to be born with it. And the crazy part is that social intelligence isn't just gonna help you with girls, it's also gonna help you to make connections, build a great social circle, and have a more enjoyable and exciting life with a lot more fun opportunities. Today, I'm gonna give you the tools to master your social intelligence so you can start making this happen. Let's get into it. It's gonna be really tough to improve your social intelligence if you're just sitting behind a TV watching Netflix all day or playing video games. If you really want to amplify and improve this part of your life, you need to get out there, start putting yourself out there and get some social practice. The more interactions you get into, whether it be with your cashier, whether it be with the door guy, the barista, whoever, it's gonna really help you to be comfortable in these social situations and you're gonna learn every time. The reason why I improved so fast was because I dove head first into these social interactions and made myself uncomfortable. I was willing to go out there, face some harsh rejections when I didn't really know what I was doing while a lot of other people are afraid of facing those rejections and feel like they have to have it all worked out perfectly in their mind before they go up and say hello. That's just not the case though. Nobody really knows what they're doing and just going up, saying hello and starting conversations with different people and being engaged in those conversations, people are gonna like being around you. And everybody likes engaging and talking to someone who's present in the moment as well and you're gonna build this skill as you get into more interactions. So, Make it a point to go out, start putting yourself out there, and see what happens. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. I talk to a lot of guys about improving their dating lives and their social skills, and one of the biggest things I've noticed is that very few guys actually have a social game plan. They're just throwing shit against the wall and seeing what sticks. This is a losing strategy and a lot of times it makes you seem a bit too gamey like a pickup artist rather than a socially intelligent and attractive guy. If you want to increase your social intelligence and your social skills in a short amount of time and attract more girls, you need a game plan and that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Patrick King's new course, Social Intelligence Academy. Now, I usually don't promote other guys' courses on dating and social intelligence, but when I saw Patrick's course, I had to make an exception. He's one of the best guys I know at teaching social skills and social intelligence. And what I love about Social Intelligence Academy is that it really teaches you everything you need to know about social intelligence. You're gonna discover how to become the most charismatic person in the room and even build instant trust with people. It's gonna show you scientifically backed ways to build social intelligence and read anyone, as well as how to have a magnetic personality that draws people in and gets girls hooked. This is gonna help you be the guy that all the other guys are looking at with jealousy as you're captivating the sexiest girls in the room and making it happen. And maybe even more importantly, it's gonna help you avoid the bad social mistakes that get you rejected and make you self-conscious. The point is, if you're tired of struggling socially, then this is the course for you. It's the exact course that I wish I had back when I was starting my journey. And the best part is, I talked to Patrick and hooked up a huge discount for you guys. From now until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday night, you can get Social Intelligence Academy for 50% off. Just click the first link in the description and enter promo code POSTGRAD at checkout. You can struggle with Social Intelligence for years like I did, or you can take the shortcut and get Social Intelligence Academy. Again, all you're gonna do is hit that first link in the description, enter promo code POSTGRAD, get 50% off, and start improving your Social Intelligence today.
you ever like talking to a group of girls and it seems to be going well, then all of a sudden the group kind of starts losing interest and eventually pulls away the girl that you're interested in and it all goes to shit. Here's the problem. Group dynamics are a lot different than a one-on-one -on -one conversation, but a lot of guys don't seem to realize and recognize that and that's why these group interactions seem so difficult. I actually love group interactions though because if you can do them the right way, they inherently show that you have a lot of social confidence and social savvy, and this can be really attractive to the girl that you like. So how do you do this though? Well, whenever you're talking to a group, there's a simple rule that you should keep in mind, and it has to do with your eye contact. Instead of just looking at the one person that you're talking to, let's say maybe the girl that you're interested in, try spreading your eye contact around the group. Sure, you can primarily be looking at that girl, but you should also be looking throughout the group as you talk. So maybe you say, hey, hey, boom, 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 and then you say the other part of your point to the other part of the group as you spread out the eye contact and then end back with the girl you're talking, with the girl that you're primarily focused on. This is gonna keep the group a lot more engaged with what you're saying. People aren't gonna start feeling left out and it's a lot more likely to go well. Plus, when your girl sees you run in this group easily, she's gonna be attracted. She's gonna be like, damn, this guy knows what he's doing. He knows what's up. You met me in the dark. You filled my walls up with the gallery of stars. But I keep asking myself, is this wonder love? Most people are jamokes. I mean, you guys know this, right? And the main reason why they're jamokes is because they refuse to step back and look at themselves objectively. If you want to get good at anything, whether it be investing, talking to people, sports, whatever it may be, you have to have the ability to self-reflect. This is how you can avoid making the same mistakes again and again and again, and instead make incremental improvements that start compounding over time and lead to you making that transformation that you wanna make. I used to do this all the time when talking to girls. I'd ask myself, all right, what did I do well? And what could I have done better? So for example, maybe I'd make weak eye contact so I said, all right, I didn't make enough eye contact that time, and I put a focus on that the next time. Or maybe another time I would be talking too fast. That's a common problem for me. I'm a fast talker, it's what comes natural to me. So the next interaction, I would try to, you know, really focus consciously on slowing down my speech to keep the girl more engaged and hooked into my words. This would help me to make very fast improvements while other guys would keep banging their head against the wall not self-reflecting and trying the same thing again and again with it just not working. Don't be that guy. Be okay with self-reflecting. Be okay with checking your ego and saying, hey, maybe there's something I didn't do right there. It's not the girl's fault, it's, it's me. I'm gonna take 100% responsibility for this and make this happen, make this better, and I'm gonna improve. That type of attitude and accountability and you know the, the ability to objectively self-reflect is what's gonna get you better and better results than most guys. Why can't we be friends? If it's so much easier Before we got our feelings hurt And I can't pretend that The world is an interesting place and you can learn something from every single person that you talk to. This is actually how I learned and, and how I got interested in getting into real estate. I talked to another like digital nomad type of guy. He was telling me he was getting into some real estate and I never really had thought about it before or thought it was possible to do it long distance from a place like Mexico. But that kind of opened my mind and a few months later, I got my first property. It all kind of stemmed from that one conversation. When you're curious about the world and about the people in it, good things can happen. How do you be curious though? Well, it starts by asking people about their passions and their motivations and seeing if you have any commonalities. Or maybe they do something that you're super interested in, like real estate for me, and you can dive a little bit deeper and have them teach you a little bit about it. The more curious you are about other people, the more they're gonna enjoy being around you and enjoy talking to you. Because so many people are always trying to impress everybody else, they're trying to talk a big game, versus actually listening to the person that they're interacting with. So when you're the guy who listens and dives deeper and shows that curiosity, it's really interesting to other people. The key though is to make sure that you relate back with some things about your own life so it doesn't feel like a completely one-sided conversation. And yeah, I poured out my soul. What I can do, but I... 
When you think of a person that's sort of the life of the party, what's the one quality they almost always have? Well, usually it's great storytelling. Anyone who's the life of the party can tell a great story, get a group of people engaged, and get people interested. Quite simply, man, the better you are at telling stories, the more people are gonna wanna listen to you and be around you. So, if you wanna get better at telling stories yourself, you can check out this video right here. It's gonna show you exactly how to tell stories that attract women. So, you can check that out right here, and you can also check out Social Intelligence Academy by Patrick King right down below, first link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video, homie. Peace.